Hello, my name is Johnny Fay with Headwall Photonics. Welcome to our next segment two of video training overview of hyperspectral imaging technology. In this presentation, I will go over the principle of operations. Here we have um, the scene. So let's imagine that you are flying over this nasty shoreline where dry riverbed meets the sea. By looking at it, I have no idea what this is actually. If you just took a picture with a regular CCD camera, each pixel would be the one square in the grid. When we view this scene through the slit, all we see is the spatial strip that the slit lets through. You can see, you can still see the spatial detail in the image, but only one strip at a time. As we fly from left to right over the scene, we can take a set of pictures and stitch them together so to see the whole scene. In every slit, there are many colors. The hyperspectral system separates the light in each spatial pixel. Just like uh, you wave your hand up and down into a different colors. In, in that pixel, you wave, like you wave your, le your hand left to right. Each time the camera takes a picture of the slit, it gets a full frame of spectral data for each pixel. Stacking up each spectral image of the slit as we cross the scene, we build up the hyperspectral data cube. This is a picture of spectrograph where, as you can see with the uh, full optic lens, uh, the focal plane array camera on the top, As you can see, inside this spectrograph are optical components, slit gratings, curved mirrors, and focal plane array of camera. With full optics lens scanning the field of view and the light goes in through entrance port with slit and bounce off Curved mirror interface with grading to second curved mirror and to focal plane array. Here you have a flowchart diagram of operation. In this particular application, it uses starter kit with motorized stage. Sensor is mounted on top of starter kit as motorized stage start moving in X direction. It scans the sample. And computer captures frame as sample is moving and data are being stored in HyperQ. Then the data in HyperQ will be will get analyzed with Headwall Hyperspec 3 software, which I will go over in Hyperspec 3 software training. This will conclude this presentation. Stay tuned for the next segment three: grading and sensor. Thank you for watching.